Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to show you is how you can create patches in Toon Boom Harmony Essentials. And if you're wondering exactly what I mean by that, let me show you something real quick. I'm going to grab my transform tool and I have two different layers that I'm working with. I actually have one hidden right now, but the finished project, we've got like an upper arm and a lower arm. I'm going to take this lower arm and I'll just go ahead and move this over. I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what happens here. All right. So if we place it there, we no longer see that line there. Um, but I can kind of have this nice little elbow bend there. It's kind of cool. And this works either way. And I want to show you how you can do this in Harmony Essentials. Now in Harmony Premium, you can use something called an auto patch and you're working with the art layers like there's color art, line art, overlay as well as underlay. Well, you don't have those sub layers in Harmony Essentials, but what you do have is symbols. Now I was chatting with some of my colleagues the other day, Onion Skin, Stylish Rumble and TRY, and they're all talking about how they hated symbols. And I totally get it. I would hate symbols too if I exclusively used Harmony Premium there's almost no use to use them in premium. But if you're in essentials, you definitely want to use those. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off uh, this original layer here and let's get back to the very beginning and I'll show you exactly how this is built. Um, that and I'm going to go ahead and move our little lower arm back to its original position. I can simply press the letter R and it goes back to its original position. So the upper arm, what I want to do is make sure my library is available and visible. I'm going to look right in the symbols section. I'm going to come down to my timeline. I'm going to click and drag the upper arm straight to the library. Just that first frame there. And because I already have done this before, it's going to give me upper arm too. So I'll right click and go to edit the symbol. Now, if you look up here, it says top. That's where our normal camera view is. And right now we're inside the symbol of upper arm two. Now I only dragged over one frame. So inside of the symbol, there's only one frame and that's all we need for now. So what I'm going to do is a couple of things here. I'm going to zoom in. I think I drew this out using the line tools. Um, and if you look there's there's our little path right down the middle. So one of the first things I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and convert. I could probably do the entire thing. Let's select all of this and I want to convert this to convert the lines to a stroke. So the quick way of doing that, go under drawing, convert pencil lines to brush strokes or simply use the ampersand shortcut. So that'll be shift seven. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and flatten this. So optimize flatten. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure that the skin here, if I click on this, it's just going to be the inside area. All right. So I'm going to copy this command C control C on PC. And let's make a new layer. And this new layer, we're going to call it patch. Technically, you can call this whatever you want. It's just a nice thing to remind you of what exactly this is. So I'm going to click on add and close. Now, what I'm teaching you can actually work in earlier versions of Harmony. Also, this also works if you're using, let's say, Animate or even Animate Pro. Technically, even Harmony Premium, this actually works. So what I'm doing here is on this layer called Patch, I'm going to go ahead and paste what I just copied. Command V, Control V on PC. All right. Now, I'm going to go over here and select my Cutter tool. And I'm thinking my properties. Normally, I keep my Cutter tool set on the lasso, but I want to set this to Marquee for now. And I'm going to click and drag 
most of the upper part of this arm. So it's selected and I'll simply press delete. Now this is on the upper layer. All right, so that's gone. Now, let's see how this works. What we need to do is select our transform and you want to make sure your camera view is active. Now, if you look, there's this little red line around my camera view here. Um, a way to make sure that it's active is just click once on this little patch we just made. Then I'm going to hold down my option key, Alt on PC, and I'm going to press the down arrow on my keyboard. And don't think of it so much as down, but think about it bringing, bringing things forward. You're going to basically be moving this on the Z axis. So holding down option, press the down arrow once. And again, just think about it coming toward you. All right, so I just did that once. And last but not least, we need to make sure the pivot point is set up for the upper arm and the lower arm. So if I click on the upper arm, the pivot point is showing right here, the shoulder on this upper part. It's sitting at the default spot of this middle of the screen here. What you can do is hold down your shift key and on your timeline, select both layers. And then I want to go up to my rotate tool and I want to move this, make sure it's going to be right where I need it to be. Right at the top there. So that's where it's going to be for our pivot. All right. And then I'll just go back to my transform here. So the reason I've done that is if we go back to our top view, what I want to do now is I'm going to overwrite the original drawing. Let's go to my library and I'm going to click and drag this over. I'm going to hold down my control key as I'm dragging this to upper frame here, let go of the mouse and this little paste special is going to show up. What I want to do is make sure this says paste all frames of the symbol. So the full movie. So I'll click OK. And it's overtaken our drawing object. And so now this is a symbol and you can tell it's a symbol because of the way the timeline looks. This is a little blue highlight that's on that little symbol there. So now if I take the arm we were playing around with before, there it is working. I'm going to zoom in here, make sure I'm lining this up pretty good. All right. So that looks pretty decent and our patch is working. So again, the reason we're doing this is in Harmony Essentials, we don't have things like color art and line art layers per each of our drawing objects. We only have symbols and that's how we can actually use this to our advantage. So the argument came up, can you actually do a full production rig inside of Harmony Essentials? My argument is yes because if you can actually do a production rig inside of Flash or Adobe Animate, then you definitely can do it in Harmony Essentials because in my humble opinion, Harmony Essentials still blows Flash or Animate out of the water. You've got a lot of advantages and that's what we're gonna be showing you in the next few tutorials. So if this helped you at all, please go ahead and give us a like, be sure to subscribe and remember, Make art, not excuses. So get out there and make something. Have a good one.